Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to White Fortress Cybersecurity. Today, I am going to tell you a crazy thing that I myself discovered a while later. So, usually, everyone uses a tag box in the try hack me. But do you know you can also use your own Linux machine to solve your try hack me rooms? So, to stop using a tag box and start using your Kali Linux, first of all, you click on your profile icon. After that, you will see this access option over here. You click on it and then you will see multiple server options, VPN server and under that you will see multiple server options. We have US West regular, we have US East regular, we have Australia regular, we have India regular. So closest server to my system is this server because I reside in India. So that's why this is the closest server I have chosen. If you live in some another country, you can choose this server according to your region. Now, I selected this one, then I will download the configuration file. Here you can see White Fortress ACA1 OVPN. Okay, so the name of the file will be as per your profile name. Now, I will simply open my Kali Linux at the side and I will drag and drop this file over to the desktop of Kali Linux machine. Now, I will go to the terminal and I will locate it, cd desktop. And here you can see we have this file, White Fortress 1 OVPN. Now, now we simply put the command open VPN and then the file name. Then hit enter. Here you will see ping restart 120. And also here you will be able to see a new IP address. So I simply put the command ifconfig and show you here that at TUN0, you can see this IP 10.17.11.207. So your IP will be starting from 10 if it is connected to the open VPN. If you are seeing your Ethernet 0 IP having 10.0. something IP, you haven't put your Kali Linux to the bridge adapter. So if you do not know how to install the Linux and how to use it, you can check the video in the description below. It has got the hackers lab set up. So in that we also tell you how to put your Linux to the bridge so that you can communicate with, with your own network. And with this TON0 interface, you can communicate with the Try Hack Me network. Because it will have the open VPN IP address. Also, if I am at a root, I can simply put the command open VPN, then desktop slash white fortress one OVPN. And here you can see it will again start working like this. Or you can also copy it to the current directory. How to copy the file to the current directory? You put the command copy and desktop slash white fortress OVPN. Here you will be putting whatsoever is your file name. Okay. And with the tab, you can auto complete the command. And then a dot. Dot means this directory. If you want to copy it to some other directory or some other path, you can simply put the path over here instead of the dot. So here I put ls and you can see that file has been copied to here White Fortress ACA1 OVPN. And now you can simply start using it just like you use the attack box. It is faster and you have got more privileges if you are a root user. If you do not know how to become the root user or administrative user, the link of the video is in the description below. Also, if you're not a root user, you will simply put sudo and then open VPN command. Here you will put the file name, then hit enter. And here you will see the open VPN has started again. How to disable your open VPN? You simply uh, type ps all. Here you will see the open VPN ID. So here you can see we have multiple open VPN IDs going on over here. So to kill all these processes, 
you will simply put command kill all open vpn and you will see your ip will be gone okay here you can see that tun0 interface has been gone because your open vpn has been disabled so this is how you disable your open vpn thank you for watching and see you in the next video don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel